Maybe the most exciting change that uh, I've been part of these 25 years is the, is the growth of IKEA in a number of different cultures. We have colleagues and customers and suppliers uh, in many parts of the world today. And uh, in that way, we're no longer, uh, how can I say, only a Swedish company with a little bit of an international experience. We're, we're really a company with a strong foothold in many different places. In order to be able to be really, uh, not just relevant, but right with the local customer, we need to, we need to uh, be very aware uh, of what is life at home for people in the local market. So we spend a lot of effort actually uh, following that, both uh, with home visits and just very simple going to see what, what, is, what are the bathroom like in Poland, right? <laughs> and understanding that better so we can both communicate what we have for people in the right way, but we can also do more good things for the way people live at home. And that's important. Uh, but then using uh, our means of communication, I think the more um, important part is really to understand um, or to, in different ways, actually show solutions um, in ways that are relevant to people in the local market, right? So, I mean, we have markets where people live in very, very limited space. To come up with very smart solutions for limited space is very simple, but makes all the difference, right? Or um, if it's in uh, markets where uh, families are big with multi-generational living or there are more kids maybe than in other markets, we do something big with that. Uh, and then always be very good with the uh, right price level. Now I think as we grow, the, the, um, the changing or the evolution of the Swedishness will come. I mean, now we are, you know, we're building IKEA culture, for example, with uh, a large Chinese uh, IKEA workforce and co-workers there and managers and leaders and, and of course it's about being IKEA in China and being Chinese, right? And what does that mean? So um, that will change us, yeah. But um, I think the important things will stay and I, th I actually think it doesn't really matter where we are in the world people who enjoy working at IKEA and shopping at IKEA, they in a way want to share that culture. And I think it is a universal culture also for people who, who, who want to work together or, um, how can I say, uh, be together in a certain way, right? I think we have to be open-minded about it. Of course our values are always important and we want to take them abroad as well. And uh, I think we can do that, but we also have to, to bring something from the, the other cultures to our company to be successful. I think that's important. Now the culture of IKEA 40, 50 years ago, I think was very much about a, a place and maybe about a, a man, an entrepreneur and his, his group of people, right, at that situation. I think we're more open-minded, we're more um, we're more of a world citizen today than we were before and uh, I think we're discovering ourselves maybe in the eyes of others in a way that uh, wasn't possible 40, 50 years ago when we were much more in a, in a special place or a regional place, right? But that's the, at the same time I think we would recognize ourselves visiting 40, 50 years back. We would see that we would be still I mean, same uh, enthusiasm, focus on the future, problem solvers, um, hard workers, um, doers maybe, um, and innovators in a commonsensical way, right? So I, I uh, no, I, th I think um, there's something there that's lasted, yeah, but it's changed. There are many, there are many products that represent IKEA to me. <laughs> 8,500. Uh, no, um, no. If I should pick one, I think the, um, one of my favorites is the clip-on sofa. Clip-on sofa is uh, a sleek, uh, clean, uh, big two-seat sofa 
that we've had in our offer since the beginning of the 80s and uh, it was then uh, developed from an, another model so it's actually in its origins even older than that and it's sort of the icon of the the modern simple casual uh, uh, informal sofa that can actually go in any room in any home right? and has a slip cover and a slip cover that you can take off and wash and you can buy another slip cover so you can actually have two looks on your sofa and so forth and then what's uh, particularly wonderful with it is that um, over the time we have improved the quality uh, inside and out so like really really built it from the inside uh, we have lowered the costs through just uh, making it smarter and smarter uh, over time. And um, uh, now, lately, in the last few years, we have uh, turned it into uh, uh, a self-assembly sofa. So it actually comes flat pack also. So it's sort of the ultimate uh, IKEA sofa. So look for Klippa next, next time you're in an IKEA store. <laughs> I think right now it's one of the armchairs that they have at work, IKEA, I think it's called Patrick, I'm not sure. It's uh, actually for uh, um, office use, but I have it in my living room and it's red and I love it.